and your first mistake of the day was this traffic light it went to red for a long time before you actually had to stop so you can see it's gone to amber now she's slowing down it's red and you've gone over the line unnecessary so what advice is stop when the line disappears from your view so you see the stop line when it disappears from your view you should be stopping so that's going to red right now okay now the stop line is this line here when it disappears out of your view you should stop there okay this is more likely to be a major fault than a minor fault okay so just a bit of advice here um, this lane is only big enough for maybe one and a half cars so one car here and maybe just a half a space for a car so there's no benefit of you positioning right near the curb stay in the center of the lane okay that way cyclists can can ride past this way and when you turn you're less likely to hit that curb okay so when the when the road isn't that big not big enough for two cars just stay in the center of the lane just stay in the center you you being here it's not going to allow another car to sit, sit beside you now here we're turning right at the waterworks roundabout sat nav already told us we're turning right and then you went and joined into the left lane um you did move back to the right lane later so it's not a fault but just bear in mind once you know where you're going position for it okay so you know you're going to turn right you should be in the right hand lane as soon as one becomes available so here we're turning right at the waterworks roundabout should have really stopped here this light Okay, but never mind, there was a car behind us, so maybe there's a reason for it to go. Okay, now we've gone past the first exit there. And now I would advise moving to the left lane. Okay, so moving to that lane, after you pass the first exit, move into that lane at the first opportunity. If you can't go now because there might be cars in the other lane already slightly behind you, then try to move over in the next opportunity. Okay, so anytime after the first exit, try to move over to the one lane to your left so you can leave the roundabout safely and easily without having to worry about cars on your left because if you are in the left very left lane then there's no one else that can be before you on the left lane so even now move over to the left lane okay move over from this lane to that lane okay if you haven't done it before do it now okay still got plenty of time we can do it now okay now, worst case scenario, if you haven't moved over to that lane, then you'll have to come off the roundabout from the middle lane here, then move to the left, the second lane coming off here. Like okay, you see, because you've got other cars now on your left, it's difficult and there's more chance of making a mistake. So you want to move over to the left lane anytime after the first exit. Then we came to the Charlie Brown roundabout and you can just see you're just coming really fast and having to stop come more slower it's a closed view junction you can't see to the right as you approach if you come really fast all your focus goes on stopping the car at the giveaway line but if you come a bit slower you could probably check and move at the same time and possibly if there's no one coming from your right you could probably get going but if you come really fast you'll probably end up just stopping just in case there's something coming from the right then we're turning right at this traffic light and there's a car coming from ahead that one and you've had to turn right um what i call the short way okay you're turning diagonally if you can't turn the long way then just wait for the car because we did end up slowing them down slightly even though you went the short way we end up having to slow them down slightly so what I mean by the short way is if that's your car there and there's a car coming from in front of you you're, you're, you're going diagonally this way trying to make it more quicker to turn but you need to go the long way round which is the way you should be doing it like that Okay, so if you can't turn the long way around the way it should be done, make sure you wait for the oncoming car. But never try to turn the short way, that diagonally this way, okay? Because there's more chance of you hitting somebody coming from that side. Um, there's likely to be curbs here and stuff. So always go the long way around. Okay, now we turned right at this mini roundabout and you turned very late. You went too far forward before turning, you actually drove over the other driver's giveaway line. This giveaway line here, you've driven over that. You've gone so far forward, your left tire has almost touched, that almost hit the curb as well. You've gone too far forward. 
Okay, on that mini roundabout, what you should do is turn when you're halfway into the roundabout. So halfway would be this line here, and that line there would measure the halfway. So if I draw like imaginary line here, that's halfway into the roundabout. So when you go forward, you go here, and once you cross about the halfway point, and then and then you start turning. Okay, and then that's how you make the turn. But what you've done is you've gone around, and you've gone like that way, and then come back this way. Okay, just about missing the, the curb here. So what you've done at the roundabout is you've gone like that. What you want to do is just do this. Okay, now here at this traffic light, to turn right before this truck, you've gone the short way round. Okay? If you can't go the long way round, then you go forward and wait in the middle of the junction. So same here, when you turn right, you've turned right the short way. Okay. Okay, so if you come here to turn right and you turn the short way, you're going like this, very close to the middle line. Now this prevents another car coming out and turning right or left themselves. Okay, so you need to go the long way around, where you go more forward and then you take the turn. And that way you don't interfere with this driver who wants to come out and go this way by going the long way around. Okay, so don't take this short route, don't take the shortcut turning diagonally too early. So at a junction like this, when you turn right, if there's oncoming cars and you're going to have to wait for them when the light goes to green, then stop halfway into the junction. So halfway, would you can measure halfway from this line here and this line here. So that would be halfway into the junction. So you're going to wait here and then other cars can, can go past. And if them cars are coming past, they can come past as well. Don't go and wait here. Okay, then it's going to make it difficult for you to turn. It's going to be tight for you to turn. Also, where if this car wants to turn that way, where would they wait? You know, they'd have no space to wait. They should really be waiting here. Then they're going to come here and wait here. And when they, when when, you, when you're gone, then they're going to go that way. So only wait halfway to the junction. And this is what you've done here at this junction, which is good. Okay, so we've, we've talked about it, and then you've done it. So you went and you stopped just halfway, just slightly into the junction and you wait for the cars. And then when it's clear, and then we go. When you, when you get the first opportunity we go without, without slowing someone down, then we go. Okay, and then you made a fault, one of your favorite faults that you make all the time. You've driven too close to the parked cars Okay, so again, I feel like is, you're trying to keep to the left of this line. It's not safe. You must keep in the center of this road. Equal distance from the parked cars on this side and this side. If you imagine you're too close to these cars, a door opens, someone puts their foot out. You're going to smash the door, you're going to break their leg. Okay, so think about that. You must keep in the center of the road. After you pass the last car, then you tuck back into the, your side. Okay, this is a fault you make quite often. If you go back f over your videos in your previous mock tests, you, you've made this fault previously before, and it's something you've got you to stamp out. Okay, now here, it's a good example of how you, don't, how you don't keep control of the car. So you've turned right, and then here... Well, I'm a bit scared there. Your foot's on the gas, and you're going so close to that car. Okay. okay, so the car on your right, this car here, you're driving towards it with your foot on the gas. You haven't straightened the wheel up. It's a narrow space. You've got to show good, close control by keeping the car slow. Keep your foot over the brakes until you've sorted the steering out. A lot of the time you're turning and you're still accelerating and your hands just can't keep up because the car is just going faster than controllable. So use the brakes or keep your foot on the brake at least so that it's not accelerating at all and then short, sort the steering out and then you can accelerate once the steering is completed. Okay, now this was a situation meeting uh, other, other traffic. We just turned onto this road and ahead we could see 
there's a car coming towards us. Now, now the easiest thing to do would be just stop before this black car. All the problems have gone away now. You can let this car come through, but you've gone past the black car. So you have a car coming towards you. Now you've got to find somewhere to let this car pass. Okay, now this happens. Okay, now after this black car finishes reversing or do, doing what it's doing, it's actually going into a garage there. After it finishes doing what it's doing, the car is still there behind it. And you've got to find a way to, to you know, get through and let them through. The easiest thing to, to do would have been to stay where you are and let the car come through into the space on your right, which is there's a big massive space on the right there. Um, you weren't going to do that. You were going to go forward. And I had to brake and stop you there. Because if you had gone forward more, there'd be no way for you to let this car through or for them to let you through. That's not a gap big enough for you to, to go into. So I had to stop you there to allow this car to come past. Okay, this is something you, you have to do by yourself. Now we come to this roundabout and we're going to turn right second exit. Um, if you just see this car here, that black car behind the white one, um, by the time you come there, that black car is where that white color car is. So if you're here, would you go before this white color car? You shouldn't. You should wait and let the white car pass. So by the time you got here, that black car was there and you tried to go. I had to brake and stop you. So here I've braked the car and stopped. So I asked you, did you see the car come? You said, yes, you did. You said you, you saw it, but you thought you could make it before the car. You would not make it before that car. Somebody would have to slam on their brakes. In this case, I did it. It was us. Okay, then just a little bit after that, I braked again at the zebra crossing. There was an old lady there waiting to cross the road at the zebra crossing. I just about to see the old lady there. I didn't even look at the old lady. I could just see someone there at the corner of my eye. That old lady there. And I have to break and stop you there. Okay, now this is a roundabout. You make a mistake on every lesson on the way back towards central London, A12. So we're going right to the roundabout. It's a spiral roundabout. I'm trying to speed this up a bit. So we go to the roundabout here. Okay, now we've joined into the roundabout, into the right-hand lane, just behind the white color car that's in front of us. So this lane we want to stay in, A12W, perfect. Now, the spiral roundabout has done its job and brought us from the right-hand lane to the middle lane. Okay, this is the right lane now, this is the left lane, and this is the middle lane. Then here is where you always make a mistake you're in the middle lane, so when you go forward past this, this traffic light here, you should be grabbing the middle lane again, because you're now in the middle lane. But every time from the middle lane, without checking the mirror, you think that this is your lane. It's not. This is the right lane. Don't count that li little lane there. That's just about to open up. This is the right lane. This is the middle lane, and that's the left lane over there. So every time you go forward, you jump into the right-hand lane with no mirror check, sudden steering movement, and yeah. All right, we'll do that again. Okay, it's a spiral roundabout. Spiral. It spirals you to the left. Okay. I hope this helps.